Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. I'm here today on the second day of the fourth week of Advent. That means that Christmas is almost here. And I hope, I hope you're just full of excitement about that. Today I want to share a verse. It talks about excitement. It talks about friendship. It's from Luke chapter 1, verses 39 and 40. It reads this day. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. <clears throat> now, Mary and Elizabeth are cousins. They know each other well. In those days, people didn't, didn't travel very far from where they were born. <clears throat> so you're around people that you know most of your life, and especially around family. And Mary knows about all of Elizabeth's struggles in not having a child. And Elizabeth knows about what's going on with Mary because God's told her. So somewhere during the pregnancies, Mary wants to go and visit Elizabeth and share their friendship. And I imagine their surprises with each other. You can almost hear them say, do you know that God came to me? I can't believe, it. how do you live with this? What does this mean for you? I, I don't know what this means for you. You can just hear this conversation between two ladies who are especially touched by God and have been friends for years. There's another passage to share here from Proverbs 27, verse 9. It says, the heartfelt counsel of a friend is as sweet as perfume and incense. Now, I'm not into perfume. Some of you probably are, and, and that's fine. My wife doesn't use very much of it, and, and that's fine, because perfume used to give me severe headaches. It doesn't do that anymore, but it did in the past. And I've just never been a fond of it. I, I've never been a fond of, of aftershave. Maybe that's a fad that has ended, though I, I still tell of, can tell it on a few guys here and there. And, and if that's your thing, hey, that's perfectly okay. I'm just not. It's not part of who I am. So the idea that friendship is as sweet as perfume and, and then incense, which I've also never used, uh, that doesn't really resonate with me. So let, permit me to give you uh, John Verberg's translation of this passage. The heartfelt counsel of a friend is as sweet as a really good ice cream cone. Now that registers with me. <laughs> you could put it on whatever you want to. But the notion is that sharing from a friend is really, really important. And so Mary goes to visit Elizabeth and they share their hearts. And as I said, I can only imagine what their conversations would be like. But it, 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 it's the opportunity to, to listen to someone who's kind of in the same boat. God has touched them in a miraculous way. And I bet you they talked and talked and talked. Well, Christmas is about friends. It's about caring about people that you love and that, that you maybe don't even know. Um, each Christmas, we try to, to help somebody. It doesn't have to be someone we know. I know each year <clears throat> I send off money to two different organizations to buy animals for people in the developing world. 
I know personally how important that is and how much of a difference it makes in those lives that get the animals. And I think about my friends. I'm not from here, as probably every one of you knows. I do have a lot of friends here, but I don't have friends that extend over years and years and years and years. Like Mary and Elizabeth, many people around here have lived their whole lives nearby. And so they can talk about things from 50, 60, maybe even 70 years ago, maybe even longer. Mary and, and Elizabeth get together to share as two relatives, but two friends about the surprise and the goodness of God. And I would suggest that that's what Christmas is about. Sharing about the goodness and the surprise of God. You see, God came to man, you and me, through these two women at a time when maybe nobody really expected it to happen. Oh, they hoped it would happen. They've been hoping for a lot of years. And then all of a sudden, there God was. Now, kind of like my life and yours. God is always wanting to share with us and to be friends. Jesus even said that in the Gospel of John. You are my friend if you do what I've told you to do. In other words, when we choose to walk with God, we become God's friend. Now this Christmas, I hope you'll spend time with friends and family. But if you know of someone who may not have very many friends, or if you're one of those folks who doesn't have one, I just want to share with you, you're not left out either. You see, there's a pattern here. God came to Elizabeth. God came to Mary. God comes to you and me. If you don't have friends, go be a friend to someone. You see, God came to us, not us going to God. And the story of Christmas is this, this friendship that exists between, or wanted to exist, that God wanted it between himself and man. Just like Mary and Elizabeth shared. So I'll leave you with a question. How can you be a better friend to your friends this Christmas? Well, you think about it. Thanks for listening. If you have a need or a concern, and, and we can help you in any way, please give us a call. We'll do everything we can as fast as we can to help meet your need. Thanks for listening. <clears throat> I'll be back tomorrow as we finish up this last week before Christmas.